Hey, what is going on YouTube? I'm TechFanatic9 from AndroidRoots.com and today we got a new launcher, app review kinda, for your Android device. And this one is called Tile Launcher, well, for Android. And this one is pretty cool, as you can see right now on the screen, it is really cool. It's really colorful and I really like it. So as you can see, um, the main theme of this is tiles, which is hence the name of the launcher, Tile Launcher. So as you can see, it's pretty cool. Pretty smooth and sleek. Um, it is in beta right now, so if you're wondering, if you click on the link down below in the article, um, it will say beta when you click on the app to the Google Play link. But um, I haven't seen any really major problems with it. The only thing I keep finding is that little um, thing here. It says tab has no um, command or something like that. That's the only problem I've been having. But it's really not a big deal. Everything's functional. Everything works from everything that I've seen so far. So you really shouldn't have a problem, and you shouldn't really be driven away uh, without trying this uh, tile launcher launcher <laughs> so let's go ahead and take a look at this so as you can see uh, you have tons of colors and a lot of options actually and once you do you can slide over as you can see you have you can put more um, tiles onto there here so you can go all the way through down here and you have another page if you go and scroll down you have another page mine's set on two pages I'm pretty sure that's the only limit you have but you can obviously slide uh, sideways too on this second page too but let's go and hop on to the first page and if you go and slide see there you go that's a little um tab right there that it keeps popping up but if you're gonna like slingshot it it goes all the way to the end right there so you can see right there it's on the end so you have to scroll all the way back and you can slingshot it get again so I like that effect it's a pretty cool effect um I like the slingshot effect <laughs> but let's go in and go into tile settings and take a look at more of the options and features that you get with this launcher so in general you get options like for screen orientation that's auto rotate so it's pretty awesome let's go and take a look at that so it's auto rotated. Um, one thing I really don't like about it, it's not really to scale. So as you can see, um, all the icons are a lot smaller. What I would have preferred if the icons are bigger, um, not a lot bigger, but at least a little bit bigger. It's kind of small, and as you can see, it's kind of messed up all the icons and all that. Uh, not my favorite part of about that, but it's not a big deal. Like I mentioned earlier, most of this is pretty solid. So let's go back in general, and you have icon pack. So it's default icons. There's no other option to get it. I don't know where to get it. Uh, maybe the developer is going to add it more, or maybe other developers can make it for this launcher if they want to. Um, I don't really know what's going on with that. Um, but you have two options for theme, hollow dark and hollow light. So if you tap on hollow light, and you exit out of it, and go back into it, you get a nice white light theme for the settings. That's all it changes. It doesn't change your launcher effect at all, just the settings. So let's go into scrolling now. Um, directions, you know, you have the basic over scroll. So that, here's the over fling. So when you uh, go and fling it to the edge of the home screen, it flings all the way back to the last page, like you saw earlier. Uh, shows the indicator color that's pro and pro. So those two are pro options, drag speed and all that. So you do have your basic features for speed and, uh, you know, smoothness and all that. Uh, let's hop into home screen and take a look at that. So you'll see, oh yeah, so you can add more screens. So you only have two options for screen, so I was right. Um, so you have two options, you can do one or two. So let's actually add to one, there we go. Default screen one, so and screen um, one. All right, so you, you should only have one screen now. And there you go, You'll, you only do have one screen, so you can see that. And then you can uh, scroll sideways. And that tab keeps coming up. Uh, I don't know how to get rid of that, but that's the only problem with this ROM. <laughs> but it's not a big deal. App drawer, that's pretty cool. See a position and all that. Uh, which is pro options, that's why I didn't really mess with that. Uh, you got toolbar and default, and then, you know, you got Play Store. So you can comment on the Play Store uh, what you feel about this launch and all that. So let's actually go ahead and take a look at what features it offers and what practical uses this has. Well, first of all, I really like it is because you get little sizes and different looks for each one. So I'm going to go ahead and go tap on apps, and let's go ahead. Oh, I actually changed the app drawer to the um, hollow, the hollow uh, theme for that too, so that's pretty cool. Let's go and drag Earth down here, and let's add it. Oh, let's add it right here. Let's go put it right there. And once you do a tap on it, uh, let's go and edit title. So you can change the icon if you want. You have an, if you have another icon in mind, or you can go and download icon packs um, from various websites. Uh, label Earth. You can change that name if you want to. Custom title, default title, or no title if you want it. Text color and background. So let's go into background, and let's choose custom color. And in here, you get a ton of colors, preset or custom. If you want to tap on custom, you can choose whichever you want in the world, any color you want, or you can even put the color name in there, color number, I'm sorry. So let's go and do a little bit, uh, let's go a little bit lighter. There we go. That's pretty nice. And let's set that. Set it to more darkness. 
and there you go save it and saved so you can see now the color icon did change the background of the icon so that's pretty cool and you can also rearrange it the size of it so you can make it go really long as long as you really want just keep it there and you can make it even go longer so if you want it really big if you use that icon a lot that app a lot <laughs> you can even go on the whole screen if you really want to be that ridiculous <laughs> if you really want to you can and you can make it even go vertical which is pretty cool and there you go so that's pretty cool I like that feature it gives you a lot of um options to go ahead and change it any size you want with a uh, height anyway any color too so it's really like about that and I haven't really found a good wallpaper but if you found a really colorful wallpaper something that matches with all these colors or you can have a color screen like black and white green and black which I think it looks pretty sick if you did that green and black would look pretty sick and you get a pretty cool wallpaper or even a black wallpaper it look pretty darn cool um, if you're gonna ask me and you you can also have the option to remove toolbar and all that so let's basically look at Tile Launcher for your Android device. Hopefully you did find this review helpful and pretty uh, almost in-depth look at this. You can change colors for each icon. You can change the look and style of each one too and the icon even, uh, which is pretty great. Keep in mind it is in beta, so you may get a couple problems. I haven't really got any problems for the last days I've been using this. But that's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please hit the like button in the bottom left-hand corner. And please do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel as that does really help me out a lot. It shows me they support you with more of these launcher app reviews, um, which is more app reviews, game reviews, ROM reviews, and just Android devices in general. So please do subscribe if you want to see more of these Android-related videos. And I'll catch you next time. Oh, also, link down below for the app and a little bit more info on what I think about this launcher and all that, too. And um, all my social networks are down below, too. So be sure to like me, add me, and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+, which is an also excellent ways, also excellent ways to get in touch with me if you ever need to. That's about it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.